When I was a kid, 12 letters to relive your dream. I just wanted to take one more day and, and go off the cuff or off script, kind of, uh, just to maybe just kind of recap some of the stuff we've talked about. Uh, I don't know, just something to, to say one more thing before we move forward. Um, we talked about how to arrive at our decision and how to apply it to our lives, what we've learned. But one thing we don't want to miss is the attitude that we do it with, whatever we're doing. I hope you work through the words and wonders I offered to find your dream, your song that's always been within you. Um, I've been blessed to spend time with my son over the past year as well as uh, the recent homeschooling. And I found a lot of his challenges at 10 years old are the same challenges we have as adults. Not paying attention, getting off topic, looking at all that we think is ahead, not just, just not following our heart. Uh, th those are the things that hold us back from who we should be. You know, every morning to kind of just get ready and get, get my head on straight for the day, uh, I have these shower thoughts, uh, these cleansing thoughts, you know, the those ideas that happen in uh, in the shower that, that are light bulb moments. And um, there's there's kind of like seven, seven steps or seven different ideas that I, I work through. And, and I start by just, just being joyful and, and giving thanks to God for this, you know, one calendar square of a day that he's given me to work with. And just focusing on that. Um, I realize I have arrived at a place of complete reliance on, on him. Um, then I believe I am right. I, I think I am right with the best intentions because God is within me, you know, his Holy Spirit that's within me. And then I think, uh, what, what do I hope to do? You know, what is my vision for my life? And my, mine in particular is to create music and messages of encouragement and understanding to hopefully to bring about hope and, and healing. Um, then I think, what do I, what am I looking forward to in this very day? You know, what are things that are really going to keep, keep my fire going? And then I list some things. Um, after that, I, I name a couple of people uh, who I hope to lift uh, to bring about um, just some kind of of lift to their burden, whatever they have going on. And then <clears throat> I give these to God. I turn them over to Him and, and say, you know, these are the best of, of what I think that I, I have to offer in this day. And, you know, you, you take and make of them what you need to make of them. Um, when I do these uh, things, it places me where I've always been. Maybe just didn't know how to put it together, but it placed me where I've always been. Just like that kid that's in, in the image behind me who's holding that first guitar that he got that one Christmas. You know, <clears throat> if we're going to look at the bottom line of numbers and people responding as a gauge for the success of our efforts, then we don't want to do it. If we're going to expect financial providence to come directly from our efforts, then we may want to reconsider. Uh, it will come, but it all won't always be like directly from where we expect it. If we're contemplating whether we should or should not do uh, this thing of ours, this dream, we must do it. Everything about our life is going to keep calling us back there, calling us from just that core of our heart, our spirit. I was lucky enough at the end of last year to be put in proximity of a British lady named Deborah Searle. If you've never heard of her, I suggest you go out and, and seek her out on YouTube and, and look up her story. But she is a lady who had rode her way across the Atlantic. Yeah, just think about that for a minute. 
Uh, during her motivational speech, she spoke of, of the things that kept her going uh, for 100 plus days alone. And then how she's applied that to her life after. You know, a lot of the things that Deborah had said during her delivery that day are just things that really found me at the right place and, and right time at this very point in my life. So much so that a, a song surfaced from it. So. And it's a song that at the end of those seven things that I think about every morning, those cleansing thoughts, that I sing in my head those very words so I'm going to share it with you today so. If it's 75% attitude and 25 of what I do all I need is this one song one song to get me through if you've always do what you've always done you always get what you always got I guess now is when I have to choose if I'm gonna give in or not. Hundreds of days is too long to be alone. Oh, since the beginning, how I have grown. I had to decide halfway if I would go on. Time and time again and again, I thought I was wrong. It took crossing the deep to see so if I knew I was meant to be. It took being afraid of everything to find what I believe As I replay the movie in my mind I know I'm not giving up this time I had to get uncomfortable and no comfort would follow me And I know just what it takes to find positivity 75% attitude, 25 of what I do. All I need is this one song, one song to get me through. Hundreds of days is too long to be alone. Oh, since the beginning, how I have grown. I had to decide halfway if I would go on. Time and time again and again, I thought I was wrong. What I believe as I replay the movie in my mind I know I'm not giving up this time I had to find something good to get ready for this day And I'll convince myself I'm already, I'm already on my way I can see the waves as something to sing or to live to the shore If I make the right choice I can do this and so much more I had to decide halfway If I would go on Time and time again and again I thought I was wrong It took crossing the deepest To find who I was meant to be It took me in afraid of everything To find what I believe As I replay vision in my mind I know you should try it sometime as I replay the movie in my mind I know I'm not giving up this time You know, in the end, I don't believe Jesus is going to come back looking to find us at an altar, praying or singing praises. It's important to go there and be fed and to give thanks. But he's going to want to find us using the gift placed within us, within our Holy Spirit, to help someone else out. If we do that consistently, we won't need to worry about when he's going to return. 
we will always be found doing what he wants us to do. <clears throat> Can't just listen to our e with our ears, but we need to engage our heart, our spirit, our hands. We need to apply the word. That's what we need to do, my friends. That's what our heart's calling us to do. Now, you don't have to go there, but if you want to uh, somehow contribute to my ministry or, or my mission at any point, you could find me at gofundme.com slash music is the best medicine. Uh, I want to give thanks to my friends Connie and Mike for helping me uh, do the first dry run through of this uh, live delivery. Uh, you could find that out on YouTube if you seek me out uh, on my uh, my page. I look forward to one day when I'll be able to give this uh, this when I was a kid live in a big way. Um, until then, the dream is still in our heart. Uh, it always will be, and the call of need to use that gift is always right now. So I thank you for walking through this journey with me. And but more more importantly than all of that, uh, I, I want you to keep asking yourself day after day. When I was a kid, I wanted to be. Peace in Jesus. Until then, my friends. <laughs>